Yeah. I felt like Cap. <laughs> All right, so we have our cover athletes. We got Kobe on the cover. We're waiting on more info for more cover athletes. We have our WNBA cover athletes, Sabrina I-20. 2K24 is looking like a W right now. Um, we have our drop date, September 8th. We want to go ahead and join the Discord. I'll link it in the description to NBA 2K's Discord. They want you to tap in this year. It's looking good so far. We understand that crossplay is here. Crossplay is a thing. It has been confirmed across all game modes, and hopefully 2K doesn't hit us with the marketing Euro step. Pre-orders for the game are available right now at the moment. You can order the 25th anniversary edition, which also includes 12 months of the League Pass again. I don't know how much you guys like that League Pass. Did you uh did you use it? Let me know in the comment section. I personally didn't tap into the League Pass until the playoffs all right i plan on dropping a whole separate video in regards to the pre-order details and the differences between each different tier of the game that you can buy so we're going to save that for that video but for now what we do know is you can pre-order your copy of the 25th anniversary edition between july 7th and july 17th to receive a 90 overall rated wimby free agent card for your my team a ruby devin booker card for your my team and a my player wimby jersey in addition to the other bonus content included with the 25th anniversary edition but we're going to have a separate video to define where I'll read out to you guys everything that's included in each edition of the game. So be on the lookout for that. And here's a first look at the Devin Booker, Victor Wimbanyana card art for those pre-order cards. It's a good look for the Amethyst and Ruby free agents. And with that, we can go ahead and jump over to our My Team segment for the day. We have Kobe Bryant packs. In-game Kobe Bryant is finally in your My Team pack market. You can go ahead and get Kobe Bryant in-game card along with LeBron James, Michael Jordan, and Tim Duncan. 200k VC and you can have one of those unauctionable guaranteed cards along with them are a slew of invincible cards that came out the premier invincible for me I would say is Derrick Rose we also have a Lamar Odom a Mono Ginobili and a Chris Bosh Stefan Marbury and Anderson Verajo hey if you my team and get to it because I know I did with Prime Day approaching on the 11th and the 12th, what what are your what are your major pickups? What have you been looking at on the Amazon Prime app that you've been waiting to pick up? Because it's Prime Day. I don't know if that means much to you, but I love Prime Day. So with Prime Day approaching, what are your pickups that you're looking for? What have you been looking at? I don't know why I wanted to ask that. I'm just always curious on what folks are looking for. You know, hit that in the comment section. I'm, I like to I like to know these things. You never know. Maybe I'll pick a name out of the comments and I'll buy you something. And just for good measure, even out the watch time, Lotto posted this picture in her vintage Von Dutch. And um, this lady can't mind her business. This guy's just trying to do something good with his newfound child that he just found out he had. And he can't even win. You can't win with the Internet. So don't try to. Don't try. If you want to deactivate your threads profile, you're going to have to deactivate your Instagram. It's set and clear. That's just what it is. And Wimby's stat line for his first summer league game was atrocious. This kid is being called a bust, but we all know summer league don't make it what it is. It can be what it looked like until it is what it is. Let that kid breathe. And the internet is definitely undefeated. They went ahead and went as far as to dub this song over this clip of Wimby getting dunked on. Hit me, baby, one more now that's hilarious, uh, and that's the perfect segue into our next story. The development on the Britney Spears situation with Wimben Yama. ESPN reports that no charges will be filed following a brief investigation into the altercation. The police reviewed the surveillance footage of the incident with the report that Spears' hand hit herself in the face when a security guard pushed it away. Uh, it sounds geeky to me. Um, I just pray for Britney, guys. Britney Spears has been through a lot in her career, and just pray for Britney. All right, and if you like this style of content, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe for more of this, and I'll be back with information as it is released. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.